Hello everyone, I've been always wanting to have a carbon steel pan. Now, at last I got one. Uh, this is a crepe pan or crepe pan. Um, this is 20, 22 centimeter, which is 8.75 inches. And it's carbon steel. This is blue or black carbon steel, whatever they call. I think uh, they call it blue carbon steel. Now, blue is not a non-stick coating, but uh, it's through a process of making it non-sticky. Uh, that's why they call it blue or black carbon steel. So this needs to be seasoned properly and you need to maintain it exactly like a cast iron. So you need to oil it after use. Now this is from Dibui. There are three big uh, manufacturer of carbon steel that I know of. One is Dibui, the other one is Matfor and Maviel something, I'm not sure. Okay. Anyway, I wanted to get the Dibui one. Uh, these are very expensive, most expensive pans and now this cost 35 Canadian dollar plus tax. I checked online, it's 39 plus tax usually. Now I got it from a warehouse sale for just 11 Canadian dollar. So I grabbed two of them quickly. So today we are going to quickly see how to season this and be ready to cook and then later on I'll be doing an egg test and so let's see let's let's see all those detail <laughs> a nice balance and no warping it's stable and nice smooth handle
after you have cleaned the pan with hot water and soap next step is to season your pan before use so you have the guide here uh, let me zoom in and see so that you can read okay so pour one millimeter of oil just to cover the bottom of the pan and heat until the smoke appears so that's the next step we are going to do and then throw away the oil Now the oil has started to smoke a lot now I'm going to check the warping issue now Still good And it's stable No warping so far All looks good So I'll switch off this now and leave the pan to be cool. Now the pan is almost cool, but it's hot enough. So I'm going to transfer the oil into another container. Because the manufacturer suggests that we do it more often so the more you do it the more the pan will be blackened and the better non-stick coating that you get now take some paper towel and wipe the oil around the pan Make sure don't burn your hand. looks clean and uniform so now we are going to do the the same step again so I'm going to pour this oil back and switch on the stove I'm putting four now Make sure you don't shock the pan, preheat it slowly. 
now after the pan is warm enough I'm going to increase to to 8 or 10 now more than you I'm worried about the warping issue on this carbon steel pan um, now I've slowly increased the heat up to 8 now now I'm going to go to high up to 10 now so far all good no warping stable the other tip is to use a bigger burner than your base area of the pan so that will protect the pan from warping uh, don't use a smaller one like this if you use a smaller one that area will burn and it can warp down now after doing the seasoning preparation the next step is I'm trying to fo follow the manufacturer instructions here here it says here the first time the pan is used brown some potato peelings with a little fat or oil so and then throw it away after a few minutes so that's what we are going to do and then it will be ready for use so that will be the next step so let's do that now I'm done with two cycles of heating the oil now my pan is cold everything is cold now I got some potato peel that's a step number two which uh, the, the factory recommends so I'm going to switch on my pan in low at number four and slowly I'll increase up to eight and ten so you just need some potato peel that's all it says and they and and they say we should fry it in the oil so I already got some oil here so I'm waiting for it to be warm okay so I took few minutes now I increased to 8 and now it's in high flame so it's it's now ready to put the potato peels some people put oil but I'm following the the guide here this is the second and final step they say um, uh, to fry potato peels with a little bit of oil I don't see any salt here so let me follow their direction and see and then we'll do some testing caught the potatoes around nicely on the sides nothing is sticking now for sure I'm going to reduce the flame it's too much it's throwing everything out all the oil drops out so I'm going to reduce it to 8 That looks a bit low, so I'm going to increase it back to 10, to high flame. I'll clean it up later on. No warping, no issue till now. It's all solid.
Now this pen is uh, 2 mm thickness, 2 mm. It's clearly written here. Now if you look at the other brands, other made in France carbon steel pens, most of them, most of them are 2 mm or up to 2.5 mm unless you buy a big one that is around 12 inches in diameter or bigger those are the ones that come with 3 mm thickness now for this small pan 2 mm it's okay I, I guess now the potatoes are smoking it's time to switch on my vent So I'm going to switch off my pan, it's completely or almost burned, so I switched off and let it cool a bit and then I'm going to throw the potatoes away as per they have suggested. No warping, it sits fine. No wobbling, all good. So it's generating a lot of smoke. So make sure you do it outside or make sure the vent is on. Now my pan is a bit cold, so I'm going to discard this potato peels with the oil. Okay, have a look now. Now I'm going to use a paper towel to wipe it. Make sure uh, you use it, you use a silicon tongs or something so that you don't burn your hand. Okay, the towel doesn't look bad. Now, this is how it looks like after the potato fry. Now, I'm going to use some hot water after the pan is a bit cold. I'm going to use hot water to clean it and then I'll come back and, and do a fried egg test.
and this is how the the bottom of the pan looks like I applied a layer of oil so it has caramelized a bit Here we have some hot water running. should be good now I'm going to use a paper towel to wipe it I did not use any soap or anything Looks good. So the pan is clean. A paper towel. Use the paper towel to clean it. Um, now, the most waiting thing: the fried egg test. So, let's do it now. Let me switch on the pan. And once the pan is hot, I'm going to put some oil. Now, I'm not using butter, I'm using vegetable oil. This is what I usually use. So, I see a lot of people using butter to test. Anyway, uh, I'm not expecting it to be non-stick completely, but we'll see how it is. Because this is the first time I'm using the pan after seasoning. Now you need several levels, level of seasoning or level of cooking cycles in order, uh, in order to be completely non-stick uh, to get that caramelized coating. Now the pan is hot, I'm going to add some oil. One teaspoon, that should be good. Let me ensure it's, it's touching around the pan all over. I see a layer of caramelized coating on the side after I did the potato fry. I'm not sure what it is. It didn't go off when I used the hot water, uh, but we will deal with that later. Leave it as it is. Now my oil is hot. Now I'm going to reduce my temperature to medium. That should be good for frying egg. So here we go.
Okay. So. It's good so far, so good. So the egg came off easy. Wow, it is sliding around. The, there is one portion where it got stuck here, but it's coming off as soon as I touch it. So. Being first time, it's very impressive. Let me flip it. I expected that it would get stuck, but I'm impressed. Maybe it's something to do with the blue carbon steel from Dibuyi. Um, it has gone through a process of a non-stick process naturally so maybe that that's what it is or maybe I seasoned it properly anyway okay I see the egg has stuck a bit but it comes off so easy nothing no big deal and it's floating around Okay, so I'm super happy. Now I got this from Walmart. It's not very expensive. You might be wondering where I got this. I think I paid $17, 17 Canadian dollar plus tax. It's a good investment. It's a stainless steel. Anyway. Last thing I want to check is the warp issue. I don't see any warping. The pan looks solid, stable. It sits nicely. One teaspoon, that should be good. And then I add some potatoes. Just be sure the oil is hot.
Now, this is meant to be a crib pan. Um, it's not meant to, to be using it to fry vegetables, but you can still use it. There's nothing wrong. So this is good for two servings. A side dish for my dinner. I'm going to add some salt, Himalaya pink salt. And some paprika. Here's the black pepper. Thankfully, nothing is sticking in the pan for now. so well now potato may take some time to cook so I like to put a lid on so that it cooks a bit faster now thankfully I have this pedeno lid which fits perfectly on this pan let's open and see I think it looks cooked now. I'm going to test one. 
Yeah. It's going in nicely. So I'm going to switch it off. Can't wait to taste this. Now let's see the pan. So far nothing is sticking. Performed so well. So far so good. Very happy with it. I would highly recommend this. Anyway, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I'll be posting more videos on it. Give it thanks and good night.